I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase. Number one, choose a proper building server. The ones I like are Builder Sanctuary and Rusticated Build Servers. Why these and why not you can or something else? Well, it's simply because the general UI is better and they offer more features which be needed later on. I won't go over the details of how to use them, but the menu opens and closes from the middle mouse button and you'll figure out the rest from there. I will probably make a more in-depth guide for actual beginners, so I will go over the stuff you need step by step on that one. Number 2. Get information. You need a place or person that you can get information from and actually learn. You can like go see the other videos on my channel, but that's not really enough for you yet. So what I would do is I'd definitely join one of the building communities like Building Bulletin, Edge Building, my Discord server, etc. But I wouldn't use them like most people do. It's very easy to get sucked into the Discord servers and then you don't end up progressing because you spend way more time talking than you actually spend building. I would try and make some friends there. Um, it might sound weird, but the most progress I have made was almost purely because of Lucky and well, I did put in the work, but you know, still. Lucky has helped me a lot just through giving feedback, but also ideas and stuff like that. But now I know there are some people trying to make friends and speak to people and get feedback and all that, but they are usually just uh, generally speaking there. There are a couple crucial things for this and I'll go over them next. For starters, don't be scared to slide in people's DMs. If you hit off with someone in the community, go speak to him in the DMs. Because, you know, it's way easier to connect in the DMs than just on randomly on the Discord server. Then I would also try to make friends almost only with people that are a little bit better than you. Like the people who can like point out flaws in your base, but aren't actually that skilled. Um, the reason why is because these people don't get questions every day to review their base. And they will do it for free as well if they don't have, for example, a YouTube channel or lots of stuff going on. It's also good because the guy that's uh, helping you is also helping himself. Teaching others actually teaches you a lot as well. I have noticed that very well while making these videos, for example. Next thing is that you need to be empathetic. What I mean by this is that you need to understand what you are asking and how big that ask is for the other person. Let's put it like this. Would you walk up to a stranger on the street and ask him to do a favor for you which would take like an half an hour? Probably not, right? So it's the same on Discord servers. Most people will just ignore the messages in the general chat where you have asked someone to review your base. If you want help on Discord servers, you need to specify your questions. Uh, for example, I'm having problems with shooting floor and it feels a little bit uh, open, what should I do? Then add a couple pictures of it, maybe a video and also a code. This tactic is obviously not guaranteed to give you results, but the chances are way way hi higher than with some general question. Once you have found a friend that can help you, you need to make sure that there is actually value for the other guy too. Because that's how friendships work, right? You both give value to each other. The form of value can be anything, but since you both build, just help him out with his bases. Maybe hop on calls to help, give feedback, etc. You will also learn tons just by helping others, so I would do lots of teaching, helping and reviewing everywhere I can. Now, since all of these Discord communities are, well, kind of bad, I have this private community, which is like a building community, but on steroids and it has no side effects, right? It's not toxic as most of the other building communities, and people won't just start screaming and fighting with you over something stupid. I do a bunch of calls every week there, and at the moment I do one-to-one -one coaching, a bunch of uh, in-depth base reviews, and stuff like that. Right now it's kind of a like mentoring program, which I think could really like benefit you. We will take you basically by the hand and really help you with any problems you have. 
The community is only partly on Discord just to have the calls there, but everything else is hosted on like this very very high quality platform. I also have a bunch of new stuff coming in soon, uh, like courses, private build server and coaches who are like even better builders than I am. Like the coaches I'm getting in there are insane at building, like actually. I really think it's an awesome place and so if you are interested, go check the top link in the description. Number 3. Implementing stuff. Now, since you are learning building, it is frustrating to actually implement the knowledge. This is where good YouTube based designs come in. I would go on the building discords and ask like who are actually good YouTube builders nowadays or something like that. There is high chance that someone responds with a list of some sort. To name a few myself I'd say Lucky, Basso and Ethan. These are just from the top of my head and there are other very good builders as well. I would go on these guys channels and just look through the bases. What you like in those, what you don't, maybe keep a list of the bases and the features you like the most. So when you are building you can look at that list and take some modules from those bases. And no, no one will raise a lawsuit because you are copying or stealing. Generally like no one cares even if you steal a whole base, if you just don't publish it and present it as your own. So don't just copy a full base and present the base as your own and you are fine. But yeah, when you face some issues, just take a look at the base list and see if you can find any help from there. I would also reverse engineer those bases, so just build them from the video or code and try ask yourself why some things are there and what do the different things do. And if you can't understand something, ask. Again, uh, you should ask with like really good pictures or video etc. So it's as easy as possible for people to answer. Number 4. Focusing on one base. Before you go and take on a big project, you need to figure out what you are actually good at in building. Might be nothing, but usually there is something that you are a little bit better than the others on your level. Or this could also be something like you are interested in. I was interested in pancakes, so I just took as my project to build a pancake and well I tried multiple ideas and it took me around 2 months to finish a base, however I think you can easily cut that time in like half if not more with all of these tips. So find something you are good at or you like etc and just go only for that idea. If the idea is not too complicated that would be great too but if it is, well, just build it. Like, you are doing this for yourself, right? Focus on keeping the idea and main concept. Everything else can change. Footprint and the whole base can change if just the idea stays the same. I don't recommend changing the base all the time when it gets hard because that's where the actual learning will come. If you learned something from this video, just consider checking the links in the description and I'll see you in the next one.